Higher Order Components in React or HOC are basically a JavaScript function that takes a React component as input and produces a new updated JavaScript component. From a non-technical point of view, you can say a person with money is rich person. So here person is parameter or input while the money is the higher order component and the rich person is our updated component. Now let's see how we will implement this. In this simple React setup, I am going to make an auction app. So in which two persons will participate. Here I am making a heading for my auction app and then person 1 and person 2. For person 1 and person 2, I am going to make two components. First person 1.js and similarly the person 2 like this. Now I will import these persons in main app.js. So here first I am importing person 1 and then person 2 like this. Now let's make these person component. Inside person 1.js I am making a react function rfce and here I will write my content. Our first part is spent with the name Jimmy who is offering $10 and then a button. On clicking this button, Jimmy will increase its offering. By the same method, I will define person2 here. I am just copy and paste and let's change from person1 to person2 like this and let's change its name from Jimmy to John. Now save all the files and let's see the results. Here we have auction heading with the two buttons of increase money which will increase offering of Jimmy and John. So first let's handle the offerings of Jimmy. Inside person 1.js here I am making a use state with the name money and method set money. Let's import this. Let's say at the default the value of money will be $10. And here of course I will make it dynamic by calling it as money inside the curly braces so our variable will be accessed in the string. Now let's define the method to increase the offering. I will say on click the button it will call a method called handle increase. Okay let's define the handle increase. I just copy its name and above the return statement let's make it like this a fat arrow function so i will just multiply the money variable by 2 so it will increase the offering of the jimmy person let's do this like this and the same method i will apply for the person too so let's just copy and paste it here like this and similarly here I will call the method on click handle increase like this and let make its money also variable by curly braces and giving the name of a variable money. Let's save both the files and see results. Okay, use state should be imported first. So here I am just importing it by auto intelligence like this and similarly here like this let's save and see here when i will click the button it will increase the offering of jimmy and similarly for the button of john it will also increase the offering of john but the problem in the code of both person 1 and person 2 code is the you can notice we have written the same code two times for the person 1 and person 2. However, both persons are performing the same functionality. To overcome this problem, here comes the HOC or higher order components. Here I am making higher order component and name it as HOC.js. Inside HOC, I am making a React function RFCE like this. And I am saying its name as 
updated component as it returns us the same component but with the updated states or its updated values. It takes a parameter which is the original component. Like this, inside this function, I simply make an other function name as function new component. So it will basically return us a new component that will be returned then to the updated component and finally rendered to our view or our screen. For its functionality, I am just copy and pasting this whole code of new states like this. And along with, I have also copied the handle increase function. Let's format the code like this. The new component will return us the original component like this. And this original component will be returned as new component. Okay, now we can clean up the code here and also for the person two, like this. Let's save like this. But the problem is that now the money and handle increase is undefined for both of the persons. So I will solve it by using the props. Each person will receive two props money and handle increase like this. And the person one will return the updated component. So here and person will be used as the parameter or input for this updated component. Let's do the same thing for the person two. Here money and handle increase like this. And similarly person two will be used as parameter for updated component. Now to send these parameters, we have to define them in HOC. So the original component will send two props handle increase which will have the same which will have the same functionality as this function so i am just writing its name here and the other prop is money which is our use state variable like this let's save and see the results now you can see we have jimmy and john and when I increase the money for Jimmy, it will only increase the offering of Jimmy and same for the John. So this is the magic of React higher order component that we are using only one state for both of the components as person one and person two are using the same state in HOC, which is the money. This state is responsible for both the persons. Let's revise our whole concept and the flow of our code. Inside main app.js, we are making an auction for person 1 and person 2 and for this reason we are using HOC. HOC is receiving the original person or original component as a parameter and returning us the new or updated component. But this HOC is also supplying two parameters, handle increase and the money. Handle increase just multiply the original money by 2 and money is just the variable to hold the state. So we are calling this HOC in two components in person 1 and person 2. In person 1 we are giving the parameter of person 1 and in person 2 we are giving the parameter of person 2. And as we know that the return will be produced by this function and this function is defined in HOC which is returning us the updated component. So I hope you have understand the whole concept of higher order component, how it is making our life easy by the single state and it is using by many components in different meaning. So I hope you have enjoyed the whole video and understand the concept. Don't forget to support the channel by hitting the subscribe button and also make sure to like and share this video.